Ladies, if you're depressed, don't date nobody. Don't bring that bullshit over to nobody else. Nobody want to hear that shit. <laughs> All right? Nobody want to hear that shit. I ain't got no time for that. And don't go to therapy with them. Don't go to therapy with them. All right? Maybe if you go to therapy with me, you'll make me feel better. Don't go. Say no. I'm not going to your goddamn goofy-ass therapist in your therapy program. So that, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, you don't have to agree with it. And if you're a man that's depressed, stay the fuck away from people in relationships. Relationships are the last thing you need. That is not going to cure your depression. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me see here. Say they are depressed. This is just my opinion. Dealing with depressed people, they're, they're, they're um, insufferable. All right. They're, they're insufferable. And, and here's the thing. If it doesn't work out, if the relationship doesn't work out, they'll start threatening harming themselves. Or if you try to keep them accountable, they're threatening to harm themselves. And most of the time, they never going to do nothing. But that's neither here nor there. But then you don't know how to handle it. You're not equipped to handle it. You're not supposed to be handling it. Leave that for the professional. But you're going to be the next person they blame. So you're going to be the next reason why they depressed. <laughs> right? So I'm like, yeah, man, fuck all that. Yeah. But uh, we tell you guys, you know, uh, if you are feeling depression, number one, go seek some help. Do not wait for somebody to find you in a heap and drag you to a counselor or a therapist. Number two, go outside. Number three, get 20 minutes of cardio. Number four, eat at a proper time. Number five, take your punk ass to sleep before nine o'clock. Eliminate the blue screen an hour before. Number six, wake up with the sun. Get your circadian rhythm up. Number five, get a purpose of yourself. Try to figure out what your purpose in life is. And if your purpose in life is just to squat and do push-ups, squat and do push-ups. All right. Number six, lose some damn weight. <laughs> right. Number seven, go to the gym. Number eight, wake up on time. Number nine, go get a job. All right. Mm. Number 10, drink some water. Drink water. Not motherfucking uh, Gatorades and Power Aids and Monster Drinks and Red Bulls. Number 11, stop going out every weekend like you celebrating something and you ain't accomplished a goddamn thing all week. So stop going out and partying. Number t uh, 12, stop jerking off the porn. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole bunch of shit you can do. Yeah, I mean, come on, bro. Stop drinking Mountain Dews and, and Zimas and wine coolers and alcohol i mean there's a whole bunch of shit you can do before you can <laughs> go chop wood do some push-ups <laughs> stop drinking kool-aid like damn fam i mean it ain't that hard i mean but look this shit worked out for me stop smoking weed and dope and drugs and lines of coca and 2c maybe these things will help these things are gonna help you fam if you can't handle it. But apparently you can't handle the basis of life, bro. But I ain't going to stop my life looking at your monkey ass. Bitter, bitter party of one. All right, sitting at the table with the cloud over your head. That ain't going to stop me from living, you bitch ass ninja. All right? And you and you suck ass bitches. All right? It ain't going to stop me from living. All right? Bitter, bitter party of one. Table for one. All right, please. Go on vacation. Number 14, go on vacation. 15, get a massage, <laughs> all right? <laughs> I mean, how about you start there? Talking about you depressed. Did you, did you run a lap? <laughs> all right. You'd be like, I'm depressed, coach. Run a lap. I'm an old PE teacher, ass ninja. Take a lap. Take a knee. <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> all right, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't get it at all. I don't even have the luxury to be depressed. Too many people depend on me. Too many people depend on me. For real. Make your bed. I mean, look. Make your bed. Look at your fucking bed. Why don't you make your bed? Your bed ain't been made in two weeks. Take a shower, ninja. Take a shower. I mean, that's like he said, get a haircut. This is too easy, fam. It's too easy for me. Take a shower, ninja. <laughs> Read a book. Read a, this is said, read a book. Like this could be. This is too easy. 
All right. This is I didn't even charge you 200 bucks for this. You got all this information for free. I gave you 20 things to do. Watch CGA. Laugh. <laughs> Oh, my God. Ninjas ain't stay. Clean your room, Ninja. Why don't you clean your room? Take out the trash. <laughs> Open your curtains, Ninja. I mean, brush your teeth. <laughs> Buy some cologne. Put some on. You know what I mean? Like, damn. I- I'm figuring out. Child, like, yo, this shit is too easy. All right, anyway. All right, look. Last one, April returns to Eden and says, my grandfather would say that because ancient German women would kill wounded Roman legionnaires who fell behind. They have a history of taking no prisoners. Wow. All right, the German women. Shout out to them. Go get a manicure. Let Ling Ling rub on your hands, coach. I have uh, social anxiety. All right, let Ling Ling rub your hands. She'll rub your hands and your feet. She'll trim your nails and get the dirt under your fingernails, fam. I mean, bro. (laughs) Wash your ass. Like, look at you. Look at your surroundings, bro. Look at your shit. Vacuum your room. (laughs) I mean, come on. Look, there's too much shit going on right now. Anyway, I don't I can't afford being depressed. I mean, there's too many people that depend on me, including some nice, fine pieces of calico. Plus my kids. My parents, there's too many people depending on me. The coach gang, I mean, I can't wake up one day. Hey, y'all, depression is real. All right, let me stop. Get your meat fixed. You know you can get your meat fixed for a fee. I'm in a bind, Nate. Modern women versus traditional women. Game God. I don't even want a traditional woman. What's a traditional woman? That means she's programmed by tradition. No woman I got is programmed by tradition. My woman's going to do whatever I program her with. So I don't want her to be programmed by society. Because what do they program a woman to do? Treat a dude like a trick. Treat him like a doormat. Right. I don't want her to be traditional. I want her to like me enough to where I could put whatever tradition and program it into her mind about whatever I'm doing. Because my woman's super unconventional and untraditional. Because she's doing everything they say you shouldn't do for a man. So I don't even I don't want nobody's programming but my own inner woman. So, so I'm not you, even you I'm want, not even looking for where she's coming from. I'm looking can she get with my program. Right. So you 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 don't want the modern or the traditional. Man, I you want, want game God I want a woman who like me enough to say, man, whatever you want, I'm on. Whatever you talking about, I'm talking about. Whatever you want me to be like, I'm gonna be like. That's the only woman I want. Uh-huh. See now that's what I'm talking about, Shabamboo. <laughs> so so yeah, niggas trying to hide the good shit. <laughs> Baby, you want to dance? <laughs> yes, I do, but not with you. <laughs> a smart woman can make a poor man a millionaire, but an empty headed beauty can make a millionaire a beggar. One woman is enough for a man with plans, and one man is enough for a woman who respects her body. We flirt with beauty, but we marry behavior. Infidelity is a choice, not a mistake. If you've found someone good, stop looking for someone better. Marriage is not a diploma, but a contract that must be carefully read before signing. Separation is painful, but losing someone who doesn't respect you, who doesn't take care of you as you deserve, is a short-term pain, followed by long-term happiness. I gave you my time, my thoughts, my attachment, my joy of living, my happiness, my feelings. I gave you my heart, all of it just to end up in tears. A broken heart can heal, but the scars always remain. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> Jesus! We don't give a fuck! A lot of shit pissed me off. Like we got coach breaking down depression, you know? Everybody always talks about depression, and I think you need to take a pill for this or some Zoloft for that, or um, people going through uh, certain things in life that can cause trauma and things that they need to um, work their way out of and get some clear understanding on the trauma that you had when you were a kid and 
how it affects you uh, later in life and how you uh, act towards the trauma and stuff like that. Well, we just know that if you're going to constantly blame compression on your lack of ability to want to do anything, um, you're just going to, that's just your get out of jail free card. You're going to constantly go to, I'm depressed or I can't do this because I'm depressed and I'm depressed and I don't feel like getting up because I'm depressed. You're going to constantly go to this depression because it's an invisible thing you could point at to cause the the reason. I mean, they don't even have no uh, brain function to show depression. They don't. They can't even determine where depression comes from. We just know that it's there from people's trauma and uh, things that they could have achieved and they didn't, and that causes depression. I mean, if Andrew Tate or Coach or um, even Kevin Samuels break down depression and they just say, get the fuck up and get to work. You know, there's no in between with depression. It's just you not putting in your work or your time or enough effort into anything that you're trying to do. That's going to cause depression. You're not pretty much reaching your goals, so you're going to hurt yourself trying to uh, stay out of a, a thought of you not reaching your goals. You're going to go to the bottle, go to the drug or whatever the case might be and cause yourself more pain than you need instead of just handling your business. Like Coach was saying, run the lap, do something physical for yourself. That's going to cause you some um, good endorphins and good uh, ex what is it? Uh, oxytocin and stuff like that to be released into your bloodstream and dopamine and stuff that you're actually doing something productive with your time, you know? Because if you don't, you're not getting the dopamine rush. You're not getting the oxytocin. You're not getting all this shit that your brain chemicals need to let you know that you're doing something uh, positive with yourself instead of laying in bed or um, just being down on yourself for not accomplishing certain things or not having the right route to do so. Yeah, most people need to uh, just sit back and think about what they really want to accomplish and just do the shit. You know, most of the people with uh, their depression probably go away real quick once they're trying to start hitting their goals and being focused on what they need to be doing every day. But we keep on um, getting this depression shit uh, pushed down our throat, to which gives us a uh, lack of choices of people you want to even deal with, you know, and then you got to go down this road of who's uh, secretly depressed or do you have any um, underlying uh, mental illnesses that needs to be addressed, you know, because now you're just pretty much being down on yourself and you're going to be bringing other people down around you. That's why I did throw in this clip where traditionalism or untraditional doesn't even matter anymore. It's can the person get on your program and be beneficial towards you, you know, in any way, because they could be traditional and then still be depressed. They could be untraditional and be uh, uh, out there, whatever you want to call a free spirit and still be depressed and then be dragging your ass down the depressed hole while you're trying to figure out how to help them out of their depression. When it, when it's really just up to them. And it's this common sense that you're the cause of your own depression. It is what it is. Signs of acceptance and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.